All right, we got someone else coming up to the stage right now. Just got here. Will Johnson. Get your butt up here. There you go. What up, America? Beautiful people. Look at this. This is amazing. You know what? I never thought in a million years we would see such a movement happening in this nation. The time is now. Wonderful people. Look at this. It's like taking it all in and how do you grasp it all? Donald Trump is our president. <laughs> okay, now I need for you to help me. I'm looking for somebody named Jermaine Bazzio. Where's Jermaine Bazzio? Where's Jermaine? <laughs> if you see Jermaine, he's so I, I do a bro, I do a podcast called The Four J's, where there's four black Americans that love this country, respect the president, and we do everything we can to fight for everybody in this nation. So I started this thing called Vote Dim Out. <laughs> okay, so I started that right after Trump became president. And it dawned on me, I'm like, how come no one has ever done this? I mean, it makes sense. Vote them out. And every time, so many of you haven't seen it because the media do not want you to know that a black person doesn't hate white people. Realize what the, what the left has been telling us has been a total lie. They don't want you to see it. I went to the White House yesterday with President Trump. What a wonderful thing. There was between three to 400 black conservatives there and I've never seen so many Trump hats, mega hats in one place ever before. It was so awesome. And the media doesn't want to tell anybody because they don't want you to know what is happening across this nation. This walk away is so important. The Democrats are about to lose their minds, the mind that they have left. <laughs> I always say, you know, the left, they have lost their marbles, and the few that they have left are riding around in their head. <laughs> they do everything they can to attack us because we do not think as they do. I've been called every kind of hateful name especially because I don't demonize white people. <clears throat> for over, listen, for over two years, I've been screaming, and I've been screaming it, that the left is demonizing white people. They want white people to be on the streets, getting attacked by dogs, being hosed down by water holes. And if you think about it, during that time when it was happening to black people, who were doing it? Democrats, Democrats, and they're still doing it today. Their new target is white people. They have to figure out how to keep black people on their plantation. And you know what? It's not just black people on the plantation. They have white people on the plantation as well. But you know what? You guys are not only walking away, you're running away. And it scares them. They're like, what do we do? How do we stop this? So all of a sudden, it's really convenient. Thousands of people, the blue wave, like Mr. Owen said, the blue wave is on their way here. They're afraid of this red tsunami. Look at this. This red tsunami is coming. It's real convenient that all of them, all of them are coming here right now. They're bringing them now. It's really convenient. And then all of a sudden, there's packages sent in the mail. The left, the left truly believes that Americans are so dumb that they can tell you any story and you'll just automatically believe it. The American people are waking up. 
American people have had it with the Democratic Party. The Democrats do not have the best interests of the United States at heart. They want to stay in power. Hillary Clinton said, if you want us to be civil, you have to vote us back into power? Who does that? <laughs> Who does that? I mean, they're just lock her up, lock her up, lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. Absolutely. So the new mob, the Democrat Party, the leftists, they are the mob. I've been to many pro-Trump, pro-American rallies, and just about every single time we would get Antifa, BAM, BLM, all these anti-American hate groups to show up. They would throw rocks. They would try to hit us with sticks. They would throw explosives at us. They would throw bottles with urine and feces in it simply because we love this nation and respect our president, Donald J. Trump. The love that we have right here, right now, is what we need to take to the polls on November 6th. Keep this energy going. Do not let it go. So if I can find Jermaine Bazzio, I have pens to hand out to whoever wants any. So before I leave, don't forget November 6th, the most important midterm election in American history. So say it with me. Vote them out. Vote them out. Vote them out. Vote them out. My name is Will Johnson, UnitedAmericaFirst.com, and go to InfoWars.com. Tell Alex Jones I sent you. I'm going to give you some free swag if Alex Jones says your name. I'm going to give you free swag. Take care. God bless. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless our President Donald J. Trump.